Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. Creating this video, Damien Epi. Hi everyone, so here we are on the 21 of December, we will not trade the next two weeks and we will review now the trade of last week. So we are on odd USD and odd USD we start with the swing trading strategy. What do we have here? We have a nice angle thing or railroad track right here, entry at the retracement right here, stop loss a bit below and it's a winning trade with three reward easily. So first win. Now let's look at odd CAD, no trade, odd CHF, no trade, odd New Zealand. One, two, three, four, five. There is one right here. Let's check it. Oh yeah, it's not takeable. It's too big, weak during the news. It was a very nice move, but we couldn't take this trade. Odd GPY, one, two, three, no trade. Odd Singapore, same. Euro USD. It come to the level on Friday, but we didn't. So GBP odd. We have a trade one, two, three, four, five. So what do we have? We have this nice pin bar at the level, and this one is a losing trade. And after we have an angle thing right here, and this one is a losing trade also. So two losing trade. After we have a little railroad track right here, and three at the middle of the railroad track right here. Stop loss would have been uh, twenty four and it made uh, two reward so it's a break-even trade so we have two loss and one break-even so i repeat when we get two reward we place our stop loss to break even and that's when it triggered it so that's all for odd let's look at cad chf and metals no trade on silver euro no trade on silver usd no trade on gold, Singapore GPY123 no trade, CHF uh, Singapore no trade, CHF GPY uh, we have, uh, so what do we have? So this candle from last week but didn't create a valid pattern so we didn't enter at this specific moment and after what do we have? We have this nice pin bar right here touching the trend line so retracement entry right here and this one retracement entry is uh, 10 pips and it made 27 uh, it's very close to the three reward but didn't touch it so it's a break even trade for this one and after we have this but very little pin bar could have entered and uh, this one could have been a loss and the next one a doji breakout entry only and this one is a winning so we have one break even right here one loss and one win so far two win three losses now let's look at CAD GPY. CAD GPY, we have a trade, it's a nice one. Yep, right here. This is a bullish pin bar, and after we have a regular pin bar right here, redressment entry triggered, stop loss right here, and it's a huge winning trade. Three wins, three loss. CAD CHF, no trade. Now let's look at Euro. Okay, so Eurosec didn't touch the level. So no trade, Euroza, Euroza, we have one level, pin bar, retracement entry, didn't trigger on the legs candlestick and after it went against it. So you could have lost this one, I will count it as a loss, that's the only trade of the week. <laughs> okay, now what do we have, uh, this level, this level, uh, it's a doji, the doji isn't breaking down the next candle, so there is no entry right here for the sell. But the level was a breakout level. This level is a breakout. So when it's broken out, like with this, it's a perfect entry, perfect pattern. Eh? Broken out with a very big candle on the forward chart. So when it retouch it right here, this is a nice way to enter this specific trade. So it didn't break out this doji on the downside direction just after it broke on the next candle. So you could have taken this trade. But since the breakout, I advise on the next candle only. I will not count it. But it's a nice trade that you could have won easily. Now, Euro Hong Kong, no trade. Euro Singapore, no trade. Euro JPY, uh, didn't touch any level. Euro New Zealand, okay, Euro New Zealand, we have. Oh yeah, but it's a too big pin bar, so. 
But you could have entered eventually at this specific doji, broken up. And uh, let me check how many pips. So you have a, you would have entered right here. Stop loss would have been around 31 pips. And it made 18 only. So we have one losing trade right here. Euro CHF. Uh, okay, so Euro CHF, what do we have? So this one nearly touched the level after we have a very nice pin bar. A retracement entry didn't trigger, so breakout, breakout 1.5 to 2 reward maximum. And the stop loss would have been below this specific spike right here. Right here. So it would have made a stop loss of, it's a big stop loss. Maybe I would have taken only, only 1, 1.5 reward. But actually the stop loss is 11 and it made the 28. So it made 2 rewards. So it's a winning trade on this one. Winning trade for losing 5. Euro CAD, uh, no trade. And finally Euro USD, no trade. Now let's look at GBP. Okay, GBP knock 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have an entry for GBP knock exactly at the moment right here. Stop loss is 37, but I say to don't take any trade during the weekend, so this one you wouldn't have taken it. But it's a nice, uh, very nice pin bar at a nice level, and it's outside the envelope, so there is a very nice probability of success going up right now. GBP sec. There is no real pattern right here, and this one is a too big candle, so there is no entry. So no trade, GBP try, same, Euro GBP, oh, Euro GBP a lot of levels. We have an angle thing candle on Euro GBP, right here, at the level, so this was a trade from Friday, it's a winning trade, and after it retouched this specific level, it's still outside the envelope, that's why I will take it still, and it made an angle thing, so the retracement of the angle thing is taken out, and this is a very nice... Uh, winning trade. It made 200 pips and the stop loss is 30 pips only. So that's it, so one win on this one. Let's look at the other level. So this one doesn't qualify, this one didn't break down. What happened here? This doji didn't break down and after the other one are not at the level. No trade, no trade. This might be a pin bar, but a very big candle so I would not have entered right here. And uh, what do we have actually? We have those nice pin bar, but it is very near the level, but it didn't touch it. So I wouldn't have entered either. So there is no trade outside of this. We want a pattern to form, to unfold exactly at the level, or a bit below and, ab uh, and above, but very near to the level. If it's too far away from like this one, I don't take it. Okay, GBP Singapore. GBP Singapore, what do we have? So beginning of the week, uh, we have this angle thing right here. Middle is taken, stop loss is right here, and this one is a winning trade. After this level, nothing. This level, uh, pin bar, but kind of a dodgy and very too big candle. And this dodgy, this is our entry for a buy. It didn't trigger up, so there is no trade right here. Continue to fall down. Eventually, you could have entered at this specific angle thing, bullish candle, retracement entry, and this one is a loss. Worst case scenario, as always. And after, you have this nice pin bar, retracement entry, very nice one. Actually, this one is a winning trade. 25, and it made 78, so it's a very nice winning trade. And after, at the level, you can see that this made a nice angle thing, but didn't retrace at the middle. Since it's too big candle, I would not have entered this one. And uh, we have another angle thing right here, but the candle is more moderated side size. So you could have taken a break and breakout trade right here, and the target profit is 1.5 to 2 reward, and it's on its way. So at the moment, since you close your trade on Friday night, since it's Christmas. Uh, you would have won one reward on this one. Now let's look at GBP New Zealand. So GBP New Zealand, during the news we have this nice pin bar but very very big candle so I would not have to enter here. And there is no pattern confirming the level after. And after what do we have? We have the same pattern, an angle thing going down 
and didn't retrace so it's a breakout with 1.5 reward so you would have taken 0.5 reward on this one I don't count any trades since there is no validate pattern and trade completely completed okay so now we have GBP JPY so what do we have we have this doji didn't broken up so no trade right here after we have this trend line with pin bar and uh, this is a retracement entry stop loss 25 and it made 50 so it's a break even trade and after we have an angle thing going down didn't retrace so I would not have taken this specific trade and didn't touch any any other level so we have one break even trade on this chart that's all GBP CAD GBP CAD GBP CAD what do we have um, we have this nice level with a bullish pin bar retracement entry it's a losing trade after we have this bullish doji broken down and uh, this one is a winning trade actually stop loss is right here and 1.5 made it since it's a big candle you take 1.5 and it's a winning trade for a sell and after you have a bearish pin bar right here and same same pattern it's not completed yet so I don't count it but it could have been a, a trade what happened after you have a railroad track right here for a buy Let me clean the chart yeah railroad track right here so redressment entry didn't trigger but we have a breakout entry and breakout entry for 1.5 reward stop loss is below the biggest spike right here so we have 55 and it made 100 it made two rewards so it's a winning trade totally completed so on this chart you have one loss and then one win and one with one reward that I don't count so it's good now let's look at GBP CHF GBP CHF we have this nice pin bar it's a losing trade with price one entry it's a very nice pin bar and the body is at the level so I would have taken this trade after no pattern for the specific two level and at this level you have a bullish pin bar which is a losing trade right here stopped out and uh, this one is too big candle it's a uh, angle thing bearish I couldn't have taken this one and uh, at the level this one is railroad track but too far from the level so I wouldn't have taken it and you have a pin bar a very nice pin bar breakout entry but made only one reward didn't complete totally so you have one loss completed totally on this chart that's it the rest uh, could have made you money but it's not completed yet and it didn't reach the target profit that's what I mean so GBP USD tac 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 so this level no pattern this level we have a pin bar retracement of the pin bar it's a very tight stop loss this one is a very nice winning trade 17 and it made 50 55 so it's a winning trade on this one for a buy after you have an angle thing candle going down but same didn't retrace and it's too big candle so I would not have taken this one and the uh, same happened here you would have win a little bit of 0 5 reward but not completed yet so only one win on this chart on GBP USD now let's look at New Zealand USD knock GPY uh, no trade New Zealand GPY oh, during the week there is no trade New Zealand CHF during this week it didn't touch the level and the pattern the candlestick was not very strong rejecting it so I would not have taken this trade New Zealand CAD uh, we have a nice level touch right here so what do we have we have a pin bar right here this one is a losing trade right here after you have the same another losing trade retracement with this specific bullish pin bar after you have a hammer you have very high volatility candlestick so I would not have taken this specific trade but after that same level this candlestick is a bullish angle thing uh, and after it made a nice pin bar right here so I would have re-entered at this specific trade and to make it clean I would have entered at this moment right here my stop loss would have been here and this one is a winning trade retracement entry 3 reward achieved very nicely but before that we have one loss two loss and uh, that's it we have two loss and one win on this chart so the win recovered because there is three reward the losses on this specific chart now let's look at New Zealand USD we have a trade 
So first, this could have been taken as a railroad track and there is a pin bar after. So there is one loss right here. And after that, uh, what do we have? What do we have? This one is at the 50 EMA, but it's way below the level, so I would not have taken it. But it's a two very nice pin bar. You could have taken this one. I will not count it, but you could have taken those specific trade. It's a very nice winning trade. I count only one loss on this chart. And you would have won very nicely this one just after. Now let's look at USD pairs. Okay, very volatile pair last week. So USD cat, you have this railroad track right here, but didn't trigger the retracement entry just after, so there is no trade and the candle are very big. So I would not have entered. But after, I would have entered this specific one because the low created right here from the nice level. Uh, the candle doesn't succeed really to to close there, and there is a very nice pin bar, nice body, stop loss is around here, retracement entry is totally achievable, and this one is a winning trade. So I don't count it, but you could have made a very nice winning out of this one. Now let's look at USD JPY, no trade, USD CHF, no trade, USD Singapore, a trade from last week, yeah. It's a winning trade from last week, but no trade this week. USD ZAR, no trade. SEC GPY, so no trade really. Or oh, eventually you could have lost this one. So this one right here made a very nice pin bar, retracement entry right here. And this one is a losing trade. And that's the only trade I see right here. USD PLN, no trade. USD Danish Krona, nothing. USDXH, same. USDHUF, nothing. USD Mexican Peso. So what do we have? We have this nice pin bar, but touch the retracement very far away, so I would not have taken this trade. So no trade right here. And after we have a very nice pin bar again. And I would have entered this trade, but for the weekend we close the trade, so there is no trade. It will unfold on Monday. With this pin bar you can search on Monday morning uh, retracement entry. But I don't advise to trade on Christmas week, so that would be it. This one, one, two, three, four, five, no touch during last week. USD knock, same, no trade. So Swing trades, there is 12 winning setup times 3 reward, I would say there is 2 trades with 2 reward and 10 with 3, which make it 30 plus 4, 34. 34 reward against 6, uh, tac tac, 11 risk loss, which make it 23 reward profits. 46% profit for this strategy, potential for the week. Now let's look at the envelope strategy, it will be faster. So USD knock, no trade. USD CNH, nothing. This one, nothing. USD HUF, no trade. USD XH, no trade. No trade. USD PLN, no trade. Sec GPY, outside the envelope there is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it was last week, so no trade. USDs are no trade, USD Singapore no trade, USD CHF no trade, USD GPY same, and same on USD CAD. Now let's look at New Zealand. New Zealand USD outside the envelope no trade, New Zealand CAD no trade, New Zealand CHF 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this one from last week, it's a winning trade, New Zealand GPY no trade, and NOC GPY no trade. Now let's check GBP. GBP, you could have taken this trade right here and uh, it made uh, 75, 70. Actually, it's a break even trade on this one. Yeah, we have one break even right here. To reward, you place to break even. That's it. And after you have the same here on GBP CAD. So stop loss would have been 30, 40, and 80. So this one is a losing trade. So first losing trade on GBP CAD. Okay, so this level is inside the envelope, so I will not count it. This one was outside. GBPCHF, sorry, not GBPCAD. Now we are on GBPCAD. So GBPCAD didn't touch the level outside the envelope. 
and after we have this trade it's a winning trade actually 150 stop loss would have been 50 touch exactly the level and made 160 so one winning trade first winning no trade on GBP GPY GBP New Zealand touch during the news 6 180 now it's a break even trade so GBP Singapore we have another trade touch the level made 82 but it's only 1.5 reward so we have an it's a losing trade didn't reach 3 reward because GBP was very strong against the level and we have uh, one loss two loss on euro GBP it was a bad week for the pending order GBP try no trade and this one was inside the envelope uh, GBP knock what about GBP knock I think we have one loss yeah one loss right here and I believe this one is a winning trade 97 no it made one one oh three and the stop loss would have been 40 it made two reward actually so it's a uh, there is one reward running so there is no trade on the second level and the first level is a losing trade yeah GBP made a bad week so euro USD no trade uh, euro CAD no trade uh, euro CHF nearly touched the level but reverse just before then this one was inside the envelope uh, euro GPY no trade euro Singapore same same uh, euro knock same reverse just before so no trade and the uh, euro ZAR no trade was very close to the level euro sec euro sec no trade so cat CHF nothing cat GPY no trade oh we have this trend line trade actually this touch of the trend line is a trade uh, obviously didn't touch the stop loss it made 40 pips it's uh, ah no it made 47 pips so it's a winning trade second winning trade right here taking the trend line exactly outside the envelope right here CHF Singapore no trade Singapore GPY no trade and uh, metal no trade and finish by Australian dollar pairs GBP odd this one is a losing trade this one was inside the envelope so one loss euro odd no trade odd Singapore no odd GPY no odd New Zealand uh, no it's just reverse just before the level bad luck again we have three trades like that odd CHF no odd cat no and odd the USD nothing outside the envelope so the account is two winning trades and six losing trade on the pending which make it six reward profit against six risk loss which make it break even for the week so all in all we have 46 percent with the swing and break even for the pending which make it 46 percent profit for the week I wish you nice Christmas, Merry Christmas to everyone and uh, a happy uh, New Year's Eve and see you in two weeks. Bye. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses, one on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.